Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to add polynomials and we are going to solve few examples of adding polynomials. So let's get started with our first example. So our first example is minus 3a square b square minus 5 by 2a square b square 4a square b square and 2 over 3 a square b square. These are all monomials having the same uh, variables as a square and b square. So we can write it in a single line and add them directly plus minus 5 by 2 a square b square plus 4 a square b square plus 2 over 3 a square b square. So first we'll open this, open this brackets. So this will become 3 square, 3 a square b square minus 5 by 2 a square b square plus 4 a square b square plus 2 by 3 a square b square. As all the variables are same, we can take the a square b square common and then we will write the numbers or the coefficients here. So this is minus 3. Here we will get minus 5 by 2 plus 4 and plus 2 over 3. So this gives us, we will write the constant number first. So this will become 1 minus 5 over 2 plus 2 over 3 a square b square. Now we can take the LCM and solve this. So LCM is 6. So this will become 6 minus 15 plus 4 a square b square. So this comes out to be minus 5 over 6 a square b square. So our final answer is minus 5 over 6 a square b square. This is our final answer. So let's move on to our next example. So this is our second example. In this for these type of polynomials it is a good practice to use the vertical method of addition so that we can write the same variable terms together in a vertical line. So our first term is 8x square plus 7xy minus 6y square. Now we'll write the second uh, polynomial just below this say, first polynomial. But we have to keep in mind that we are going to write a term with a variable x square under x square. The term with the variable xy under the xy term and the term with the variable y square under the y square term. This is the thing we should keep in mind. So this will become, this is 4x square, then xy is minus 3xy and plus 2y square. Next we will write the next term which is minus 4x square plus xy minus y square. This is addition as we are adding the polynomials we are just going to draw the resultant line and we are going to write add here. The, now the second point we need to keep in mind is we need to keep the signs in consideration. So this will become 6 minus 6y square plus 2y square. So minus 6y square plus 2y square will become minus 4y square and then minus 4y square minus y square will become minus 5y square. So the resultant is minus 5y square minus 6y square and minus y square. So these two are my negative signs. So you are going to add the two terms and the sign will be negative. So this will become minus 7y square and minus 7y square plus 2y square. So this will become negative 5y square. The next one is plus 7xy plus xy. So this both these term will get added. 
so this will become 8xy 8xy minus 3xy will give us plus 5xy the third one is so easy as this is plus 4x square and this is minus 4x square so these two will become 0 so we are left with 8x square this is our final answer I prefer column method of addition as we can see the terms vertically and it is easy to add the terms and check our signs here. Now let's move on to our third example. So this is our third example. Here we are adding four terms and all are of different variables. Let's add these with a column method. So L square first term is L square plus m square the next term is m square and n square so m square i am going to write just below m square plus n square is a new term now next one is l square plus n square so l square we are going to write under l square and n square under n square and then the last term is 2 m l plus 2mn plus 2nl so these all are different variables so we are going to write it in separate columns now we are going to add the terms here so l square plus l square is 2l square plus m square m square is 2m square plus 2n square plus 2ml plus 2mn plus 2nl so all are having 2 so we can take 2 common so 2 l square plus m square plus n square plus lm plus mn plus nl this is our final answer now let's move on to our next example so I am going to use the vertical method again. So we are going to write 2p square q square minus 3pq plus 4. Now the next term is constant term is written first. So we are going to write this constant term under the constant with the sign. The second one is 7pq which we are going to write under the pq term so 7 pq the next one is minus 3 p square p square q square so minus 3 p square q square keep in mind that you have to take the signs with the terms now we are adding the terms here so this will become 2 minus 3 minus 1 p square q square this is plus 7 pq minus 3 pq so this will be 4 pq and this is plus 9 so this is our final answer now let's move on to our next and last example this will be first term is a minus b plus a b the second one is b minus c so we are going to write b under the b below the b minus c minus c plus bc if you are confused with nothing here so you can write plus zero and plus zero here next is c so we are going to write c minus a so this is plus c minus a plus zero there is no b term plus there is no AB term plus 0 and plus AC. So now we will add. So this will become A minus A 0 minus B plus B 0 plus AB plus C minus C 0 plus BC plus AC. So our final answer is AB plus bc plus ac this is our final answer i hope these examples helped you to understand how to add polynomials thanks for watching